weekly update for Friday, February 7th. Was it just last week that uh, I was reading from Michael R's letter from Easton, Pennsylvania? Uh, could have been, or it could have been a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we have open scheduling on the weekly updates now that we're alternating them with the uh, Service and Hell music videos to try and make Dave Fisher's job a little easier than uh, it's proven to be while we're trying to get this, get this going. Uh, anyway, we left off uh, talking about the California strange death of Alex Raymond, uh, death of a comic salesman tour. Um, Michael asks, would IDW or Ted Adams consider putting up some money to support the trip or sponsor a book tour? or so much time has elapsed that their interest has waned. Well, uh, Ted Adams isn't at IDW anymore. He's, uh, he's at his own imprint, Clover Press, and that's becoming one of the, uh, the issues here. Is this a Ted Adams project or is this an IDW project? My theory is it's an IDW project because IDW paid the advance money for it. Uh, I think <coughs> I think it would be uh, astonishing if, uh, if their interest hadn't waned, uh, both IDW and Ted Adams, which is one of the reasons that I'm doing the um, California tour, which is to drum up interest in Strange Death of Alex Raymond per se, whether it's uh, an IDW project, uh, an IDW Aardvark Vanaheim project, or an IDW Aardvark Anaheim Clover Press project and I've been leaving uh, messages for uh, Chris Ryle who's the president and new president and CEO at uh, IDW uh, basically telling him what I'm doing and uh, the idea is that there will be a California test market edition of Strange Death of Alex Raymond Volume 1 in December 2020 and that's what I'm working on. I'm doing as much work as I can to raise consciousness about uh, Strange Death of Alex Raymond in uh, the, the closed California environment of 190 stores. Uh, I couldn't do this with 3,000 stores, but I think I can do this with 190 stores. And uh, after December 2020, when uh, the California's test market edition has gone to all of the California comic book stores. At that point, I will be handing off Strange Death of Alex Raymond, uh, Volume 1, to IDW, I hope, and uh, saying to them, here's all of the promotion that we put together, uh, me and the stores uh, working in tandem to uh, develop uh, promotion ideas uh, that worked and here's some ideas that didn't work. Uh, postcards, uh, posters, um, digital advertising, uh, just sort of carpet bombing the uh, California comic book store community uh, to make sure that the test market edition has the best possible launch and then say, okay, here's, here's, here's what we put together uh, now it's up to IDW to take this uh, national and uh, international. Uh, stay tuned for further updates. Uh, number six, on page 13 of the Iron Man Accord, you misspelled Greg Nettles. It's not Greg, but Craig. And I'm not sure if he's misspelled it. G-R-A-I-G? Greg Nettles? G-R-A-I-G? Or is that supposed to be Craig Nettles? C-R-A-I-G. Uh, unless Siler wanted that metaphysical regicide to help, quote, strike out, unquote, Nettles. Uh, Roy White was spelled right, laugh out loud. By the way, Nettles' nickname during his playing days was Puff. So uh, we'll hope we'll, uh, Michael R. and uh, Jeff Siler can have a spirited discussion about all of this in the comments section when we're done. Uh, looking through the fact strips from the Iron Man Accord, I noticed and wanted to mention, but forgot, was the Vark thing backup story 
has nothing to do with Vark thing, but other Flash Gordon. The strips numbered 47 were dated 13 April 2018. Was it intended to be in Vark thing or Flash Gordon service in hell? That might have been can. Just curious, or should I be patient? Thank you for the extras. Well, by the time you're watching this, uh, Michael R., uh, you're aware that other Flash Gordon was the backup strip in uh, Mark Thing. Uh, number eight, I like the monthly phone conversations with Manly Matt Dow. I also like that it's broken up into several segments. If I can't listen to it all at once, I don't have to remember where it is I left off and have to just remember which part. Other than this and that, we hope you have an enjoyable Christmas and New Year. And a little note at the bottom, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy New Year, Grace. So thanks to Michael and Grace, and that'll do it for the weekly update for this week. And I hope we'll see a bunch of you next week.